hello friends welcome to FreeCAD tutorial and in this tutorial we will model this spindle bearing adjustable nut in FreeCAD based on our 2d drawings so this is a very basic tutorial for the beginner users so let's start so here I have a created a new file and now I will create a body and I will create a sketch so for this part I will select this exit plane and I will create this revolve feature but before starting the sketching we will change our unit because it is in inches so I will go edit then preferences then I will go to the units and here I will select the inches say number of decimal up to the three places so maximum dimension is up to the three places and say apply now I will go to my sketch so for this revolve features I will create this half portion and then I will revolve it So I will select rectangle and make it symmetric select this point this point my axis so here is a conflict so we will select on constraint and delete this constraint and now we will give our dimension which is a 0 0.687 say apply and this diameter is a 1.265 so I will select this one and this point and say vertical dimension so 1.265 divided by 2 and we will see that uh, this one which is a uh, 2.375 which we can see here so I will select this point and our my origin point and I will say vertical dimension 2.375 divided by 2 and now I will close it and I will go for the revolve feature and I will select my own reference this x-axis and I will say ok now I will switch to the isometric now we want to drill dia 1 by 4 drill of a depth 0.312 here and here it is a true so for this we will on our origin plane here and we will select this XY plane and first we will do this one and I will go for the datum plane which is this one and go in Z directions it is a 0.375 2.375 divided by 2 so we will do here 2.375 divided by 2 so 1.1875 so simply I will copy this value
so it is not copying so manually I will input 1.18 so you can see that our datum plane has been inserted now we will say ok now we will select our origin and place the space bar now we will switch to the isometric we will select our plane say sketch and here we will draw a circle and we approximate give some dimension to it so diameter say 0.2 say ok and then we will close it give our data plane and hide it now we will select our sketch and say hole So here is a tap drill, 1 by 4 dash UNC tap. So now we will go to the thread and if we see this the 13 by 64 is a 0 .0, 0 0.20 inch. So we will provide here 0 0.20 inch we will get exact value as possible 3 1 and the depth we will take minimum depth so that it should cut here so that is this dimension is fine and uh, I'm not going to provide the 1 by 4 by 20 UNC tapping because I'm not sure about it so I'm just providing here 13 by 64 tap drill and I will say OK and now same way here we provide 1 by 4 drill with the depth of 3.14 so same way we will on our origin plane and select our plane this XY plane and we will click on datum plane and here in a z direction we will enter the same value which we have entered for our first datum plane it is a 1.188 so I will copy it and I will go to my second datum plane and here I will paste it so 1.188 1.188 but in minus so I will provide this minus symbol so, so you can see that the datum plane has been inserted now I will say ok now I will off my plane now I will go to the isometric now I will say sketch and I will switch to the wireframe for the better visibility now I will draw a circle here and it is 1 by 4 so roughly I will give some dimension here I can say not radius but diameter say 0 0.2 now I will close it now I will select my sketch and I will say hole so now you can see here uh, diameter is a 0 0.25 which is a 1 by 4, 1 by 4 drill and depth is a 0 0.312 and here it is an angle and if if giving the thread value if it is not reflecting so it is taking in a opposite direction so reverse the direction from here now I will say ok so 
now we will select these two edges and provide our fillet now select these two edges and uh, go for the fillet and our radius is 0 0.062 and say ok so here is the radius has been applied and here one more thing uh, I wanted to add if you are uh, seeing the DAO THOU in the dimension which I have uh, found over the FreeCAD forum and in fact I was also facing this issue THOU means it will apply for the all the dimensions to fix this issue go to the edit then preferences and uh, go to the unit here and then instead of this US customary inch select empirical decimal inch and pound so you will come out of this problem so this is how I have made this part spindle bearing adjustable knot so this is all about this tutorial if you have any questions then please let me know your suggestion in a video description this is all about this tutorial if you have any suggestion then please comment in the comment section of this video i will come with more useful tutorial in a free cat thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time